Y'all remember that orange man that- Sorry. Shut the hell up! Hi you guys, my name is Sharita. Oh, welcome to my channel. I know it's been a while. I know it has, but February was rough. February was a rough month, and I know it was rough for a lot of people. I mean, I was just in this funk. It was just the weirdest thing. So I'm sorry, but I'm back, and we have a lot to talk about. So I did do a, a live on Friday, and we talked about a lot of things on Friday, but I did want to just sit down and put on my makeup and do a video with you guys. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about James Charles and this whole situation, but we're also gonna be talking about some of these drama channels are trying to make this James situation as like a redemption arc for Shane and Jeffrey. Like, y'all, let, let's just talk about it. So if you guys are interested in this video, go ahead and keep watching. Before I get started, make sure you click subscribe for new content whenever I post. Also, do not forget to click the notification bell so that you are notified every single time that I post a video. So let's get started. And I have not gotten my hair cut. Um, so I have on this beautiful headband by my boo Terrence. Make sure you guys check him out. I will link his shop below. All right, y'all. So if you have been living under a rock, um, I'm going to explain to you about a situation that has come up again. So James Charles, actually a TikToker who is visibly 16 years old, posted a video kind of outing James Charles as being some kind of groomer type person. And we've we've been through this. If you guys follow the, you know, the beauty community and the drama community, you guys know that this is nothing new. This is not new. This has happened before. So long story short, the 16-year-old boy came out and said, you know, this is what happened between him and James Charles. He dm'd him on instagram or whatever they took it to snapchat and then that's kind of when the inappropriate messages started and whatever well within i mean it it didn't even take long for for that to circulate before people started saying oh this kid is just doing it for clout and blah -de blah -de blah and other people, I mean, the kid provided receipts. And then it also didn't take long for James to put out, not an apology, but an explanation. And the explanation was very long. And he basically said that the kid said he was 18. And right away, James started flirting back with him and yada, yada, yada. Now, whether the kid lied about his age or whether the kid sent James something beforehand, that that's irrelevant because the fact is the kid is a minor. The kid is 16 years old and James is 21, almost 22 years old. People saying, oh, the kid tried to set him up and this, that, and the other. Here's the thing. When you are as famous as you as somebody like James you have to be careful and if like let's we're gonna look at this at all angles Let, let's say for once or let's say for one um the kid said he was 18 this has happened before where the kid said he was 18 and then turned out to be lying to James so after that scenario, after that situation, James should be mindful about who it is that he speaks to. Now, we're not even going to get into him flirting with his fans like that, because right there off top, that's a that's a power like. Like James has so much power being as famous as he is, that's, you know, like that change in power and that power dynamic is so off that he shouldn't be flirting with fans like that. Like, he just shouldn't. Yet here we are. Here we are. Again. Also, let's... Also, let's say that the kid uh, sent James a picture first. Are we, like, so desperate 
that the minute somebody sends us a picture, we ask them their age, they tell us their age, that we just send them a picture or a video back. Is that, is that what it, is that what we do nowadays? Because I know when, and it's very often that I receive like an unsolicited pic, you get blocked. Uh, not a hi, not a hello, just a picture of, of a one-eyed monster in my face. I don't want to see that block how hard is it to do that especially with the power that james has and people may think like well it's not like he's like an a-lister or D he's a household name people know who james charles is he cannot just go around being this reckless but he is and a lot of people are trying to give him the benefit well i shouldn't say a lot of people but there are people trying to give him the benefit the benefit of the doubt and they're just like well he wasn't, a, you know, he didn't um, really, he had to grow up fast. And by growing up fast, that means, you know, like maturity wise, because he was thrown into the spotlight at such an early age. So a lot of people are saying, well, he didn't really get to explore his sexuality and yada, yada, yada. The man is 21 years old. He can explore his sexuality with 21 year old men. He doesn't have to to be like, oh, you're 18? All right, cool. Now, here's the thing. If he's new to this, why do you want an 18-year-old? Like, that's weird. That's weird. But it's what he does. And it's a pattern. And I know it's a pattern because since this situation, other people have come out and told their stories of, you know, James him and James like having a a sexual uh relationship you know and bisexual I mean via snapchat and online and stuff yet the guy still felt like James was pressuring him to do things and say things um so that James would stay interested that's nothing but just like gaslighting and being and being narcissistic because the guy was saying that the guy in <laughs> we're going to pretend that didn't happen. The guy in question was saying how James would, you know, like hit him up constantly. And when when he didn't respond, James would basically do the thing where it's like, oh, wow. So you don't want to talk to me? And the guy would be like, well, I'm busy right now. Or uh even th so the guy i don't want to miss religion him or his parents but he was saying how his parents had to get up early for some kind of prayer i think it was and james was like well just go in the bathroom before anybody wakes up because i really want this picture or whatever and the guy said that he didn't respond and when he didn't respond the next day he went to go message james and james had had unfollowed him on snapchat so it's it's a pattern of behavior that James is using his power to be like, do this or, you know, or I won't talk to you anymore. And if you like the whole thing is weird to me because these guys are talking to James in in private. And so the fact that James thinks that he has that type of power to where he can say, even though nobody knows that we're not talking, I'll stop talking to you and I know that's going to hurt your feelings. Like, do you know how many men have been like, oh, well, if you don't send me this picture, then I'm going to, bye, bye. You ain't nobody, goodbye. So now you have a, a lot of people that are going after James and, you know, they're saying that this is wrong. This is a pattern of behavior because the last guy that this happened to I think the kid was like 14 which 14 is like disgustingly illegal but then you have you know more and more people coming out with their stories and a lot of people are calling for um what's what I'm looking for for accountability a lot of people are saying like at this point James like this is on you and and like Things need to change. Things need to happen. A lot of people are calling for jail because it's illegal. But then people always want to, what about these kinds of situations? They always want to be like, but what about, and they want to throw somebody else in the mix. 
And the people that happen to be in the mix are none other than Jeffree Star and uh, Shane Dawson. And I'm not saying Shane and Jeffree threw themselves in there, in there, but other people have. And a lot of people are like, see, Jeffrey was right when, you know, when he called James this type of, this name, he called James and he needs to be, you know, the internet needs to be taken away from him. Now, is what's happening, does that prove that Jeffrey was right? Yeah, a little bit. It does. But that does not negate the fact that Jeffrey himself has been accused and there's proof of him being a monster. So a lot of people are like, well, James is wrong. So we need to uncancel Jeffrey. Now, in what world does that make sense? In what world are we going to say, all right, you guys, like, we know that like this person, you know, unalived another person. So the person who's currently in prison for unaliving somebody, they're free to go because now we can just replace them with somebody else. No, multiple things can be true at once. Was Jeffrey right about uh, James? Yeah, to some extent. Yes, yes, he was. But does that negate the fact that Jeffrey himself is not a person. No, he's still that person. You can definitely call somebody out for doing wrong, just like Trisha. Trisha sat there and was just like, what did I tell you guys? What did I tell you about James? I told you James was this. I told you James was that. Um, but baby girl, there's a video of you and Shane grooming a teenage, a teenager. Do we need to roll the clips? because it's on you're caught in 4k my whole thing is if you're going to bring up somebody's past like or if you're going to talk about somebody like that at least talk about yourself at least talk about the fact that you've done the same thing because trisha's sitting here going oh my god that's disgusting he's an actual teenager this that and the other Okay, and the kid that you were grooming was an actual teenager. The kid that you and Shane exploited was a teenager. And I'm not saying that Trisha's wrong for what she said, because what she said about James was true. But that does not mean what you did didn't, didn't happen or do, it doesn't count anymore. No, everybody needs to be held accountable for their actions. Everybody. Then you've got Rich Lux. And yes, I'm calling it calling him out by name because at this point, it's ridiculous. And I don't understand why people are not like, I don't understand why people are still following this man. He sat there and was just like, I want y'all to have the same energy that y'all had for Shane Dawson. Oh, baby. These people have more, have the same, if not more energy for James than they did Shane, because this is what, this is what happened. Back in the early 2000s, 2010s, Shane was, you know, he had that edgy humor, whatever you want to call it. He had edgy humor and he was doing blackface and, you know, just do, like being very racist and grooming children making 11 year olds twerk on camera calling six year olds sexy he was doing that and everybody kind of laughed it off as oh he's so edgy he's so funny yada 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 all that stuff gets brought back up because he's out here still just playing this this persona that oh i'm a nice guy i'm an empath i'm this i'm that but really, he's a trash human being and he's as successful as he is now because what he got away with 10 plus years ago. So I promise you, people right now are like, no, 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 James needs to be canceled now. He needs to be held accountable now because if not in 10 years, people are going to be like, how did he get so successful? Because it's a pattern. Until he breaks that pattern, like 
Let, like we're, we're going to just continue to say the same things that Sharita says all the time. When people show you who they are, believe them. The only acceptable form of apology is changed behavior. The reason why people still don't like Shane or Jeffrey is because they have not changed. The reason why people are calling to cancel James and to hold James accountable is because he's showing people who he is. Now, the only person who I've seen really say some dumb shit like that was Rich Lux. He was the one that was like, um, I just want y'all to hold them accountable. We are. How about you hold Jeffrey and Shane accountable for their BS? How about that? I mean, even like... I saw a screenshot from, from Dustin and even he was like, you guys, this is not a, a redemption arc or a vindication arc or whatever. And he's not the only person to say it. Um, Tea Time said it, Tanisha said it. So many people have said it. So people are, are seeing what's happening. People are going to try to make this as, as, oh, well, James is, um, you know, Shane and Jeffrey were right about James therefore they're good people nah because guess what a broken clock is right twice a day just because they said something that made sense doesn't mean that they doesn't mean that they're good people keemstar was saying things that had people agreeing with him and then he was like and then a lot of people were saying something along the lines of wow like you know it's a it's a cold day in hell when I agree with Keemstar. And then what did he do? Oh, oh, you guys are all pieces of shit because now you want to agree with me. I'm always, I'm always right. Keem, <laughs> like you're, you're just showing your colors and it's fine. It's fine that you want to show like that's who you are. I don't, I don't care. But my point is, is you don't have to be a good person to call somebody out on what you see. You just don't. So now it's like, where do we go from here? Now, what do we do as, as, uh, as consumers? Because I can tell you right now, there's a lot of people who are not here for James and his antics. A lot of people are not. And, but then there's a lot of people, especially younger people who are just like, it's okay, James, like, Keep your head up. We're here. We love you always. Yada, yada, yada. And I feel like James understands the pressure because it's been, it's been one week since you looked at me <laughs> because it's been like maybe a week now and he has not put out a new YouTube video because I think he puts out his videos like on Mondays and Fridays, I want to say. No, Tuesdays and Fridays, I think it is, because today's Tuesday. Um, and he didn't put out his video on Friday. I'm pretty sure that's when all the drama started. And he didn't put out a video today, which is Tuesday, because um, I don't know. And he's been very quiet, you know, he, he put out his apology. There's been a couple of people, you know, tweeting at him that have been like, James, this isn't it. Um, what's next? He doesn't really respond to those. And then you have other people that are just like, it's okay, James, like we forgive you. The, the 16 year old was in the wrong when it's like, no, no. So like I said, as consumers, where do we go from here? What happens next? Because as far as I'm concerned, I just feel like this is just going to be a, another blowover type situation. You know, uh, this happened with, you know, Sam the waiter, but also that turned out to be like a scam. And then it happened with just like a couple of other people and those turned out to be scams. But now, I mean, after a while, like you can't, you can't victim blame. You know, like you can't just say, oh, people are just doing it for clout when it's a pattern and people are actually proving, they're showing with receipts the things that he says and the things that he does. Therefore, we can't, we like this one, we just can't let slide. This is usually how it goes for all types of, of allegations against 
against famous people. Remember Bill Cosby? How many women did it take to come forward before people were like, oh, well, maybe they're not lying. It took like 50 something women. So had the first few women been believed, then there wouldn't have been any more victims. Just like with this uh, T.I. and Tiny situation. A lot of people are saying, oh, well, uh, th they're all just lying. They're all lying for money. I'm sorry, but p first of all, there's a very small amount of people, victims. I No, there's a lot. There's a small amount of people who do it for the clout, a very small amount. So when people are claiming these things, it, it's probably true. And, you know, with the Tiny and T.I. situation, 30 people can't have the same story. 30 people can't lie. You know, like the first, I'm telling you, it's always like the first two is kind of like, mm, what's your motive? But then after that, once everybody else comes out with the same story, and if anything, because people always, people always want to say, oh, well, they're, they're probably doing it for fame and this and that. How many of them actually get clout off of it? They don't, they get harassed and bullied. So people aren't just making things up. Some people might ride the train, don't get me wrong. Some people may ride the train. Out of the 30, maybe number 27 was like, oh, well, let me hop on this. That doesn't invalidate the other 29 people that it happened to. And fame, fame is that kind of power. It's scary. It's scary because there's a lot of people out here that are just like, oh, well, I'm famous. They'll let me get away with it. Y'all remember that orange man that, Sorry. shut the hell up. Y'all remember that orange man that occupied the White House for a couple years? Oh, you can do anything. Grab her by the, meow. Y'all, oh, oh, okay. Y'all forget that. You guys forget that. And I'm not saying everybody uses their, their fame for bad power or whatever. But just because a person is famous does not mean that they cannot be a bad person. Let me, let me, let me say that again. Just because a human being is famous does not mean they cannot be a piece of shit. Just like not all poor people are humble. Not all poor people are good people. Not all poor people are bad people. And a lot of people just have this mindset of, well, wh why would they do it? They can't, power, power. That's why they do it. It may not make sense to you, but that's the reason they do it. I used to have the same mindset. I'd be like, well, that doesn't make any sense. Why would anybody want to do, why would anybody want to do X, Y, and Z? They can afford it. Or why would anybody do X, Y, and Z? Any person would willingly sleep with them. Why would anybody want to X, Y, Z? Anybody would be willing to do this for, for a rich person, for a famous person. Just believe people. That's, that's it. Just believe people. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to finish off my face. I'm going to finish the rest of my face off camera. And I'm actually going to be using, I'm going to show you now. So I'm going to be using this eyeshadow palette, palette, Arabian Nights. It's by Koki. And the only reason why I got it is because um, it has an elephant on it. I got this at like Rite Aid. That's what it looks like. So I'm going to finish that and then I'll come back. Okay, you guys, here's the finished look. The eyelashes. So the eyelashes I got are these. Allure, Eyelure Vegas Nay Walmart. They're very like soft, not soft, but light. I really like these. And then the lips, I did, I did a lot for nothing. So I just used this brown NYX liner and this NYX soft matte cream in Los Angeles. And then I topped it with this long lasting liquid lipstick from Ofra. This is the Jen Loves collab. And then I finally, finally topped it off with my favorite lip gloss ever. This is Lunar Beauty. This is Manny's. Um, this is Manny's brand. And this is Aura. You guys, I'm obsessed with this lip gloss. And then he had the nerve to restock. He had the nerve to restock. And literally, I was just like on the internet. And all of a sudden, I heard this whisper. And it was like, sure.
but I rebuked the devil. I, I did. I still have that. <laughs> not going to lie. I still have the, uh, I still have that tab open because I'm going to buy the rest of them. Don't get me wrong, but today's just not that day. And then these earrings I got from Amazon, I got in like a big pack. So if you guys want to see like an earring haul, I guess, let me know. Anyways, so let's just wrap this whole situation up. Number one, James needs to get off the internet. At least he needs to stop trying to have this relationship with his fans, these these inappropriate relationships with his fans, and I don't care how old he is. You know, with that orange man, there was a tweet for everything. Well, there's a receipt for everything. There was a podcast that James did with, I think maybe like Logan Paul. And he was saying, you know, I'm, I'm emotionally like a 40 year old, but like I'm attracted to like 18 year olds. That's not a good look right now. It's not a good look. And Another thing, have we noticed that everybody that he's attracted to kind of looks like him? At this point, James just needs to log off. He needs to go figure out that he needs to get help because at this point, this is going to continue until somebody actually gets hurt. And the 16 year old boy allegedly has gone to the cops. He's gone to the police. Not a good look. So anyways, let me know what you guys think about this entire situation. Again, just because Shane, Trisha, Jeffrey, Tati all said, yeah, James is this. It does not negate the fact that they did dirt and are still trash people. So don't let that be an excuse. Rich Lux, I'm looking at you. Don't let that be an excuse. Oh, make sure you keep the same energy. Well, here's the thing. People are keeping the same energy. That's the difference is people are literally keeping the same energy. The only people who are out here defending James are his young fan base. There have been so many videos made and I'm going to leave a couple videos below that explains everything in detail better than I did because they actually provide the receipts. I'm going to leave some videos below. But to scream and 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 try to make this about other tra you guys, trash is trash. I've been saying this for years. Take out all the trash, goodbye, and replace it with like new beautiful merchandise. It's not that hard. Just because, like, you guys give way too much power to these famous people. And it's scary. You see what it did for that orange man. You see what it did for that orange man. We allowed a person, a reality show person to become president of the United States. Imagine Cardi B being president of the United States. Imagine Nene Leakes being president of the United States. Imagine the cast of Jersey Shore being the president of the United States. You guys give too much power to these famous people just because they have what, money? I'm about to go out, I'm, I'm about to go on a rant, so I'm just gonna end this conversation here. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, that helps me out a lot. Also, do not forget to link up with me on my social media especially Twitter. All of that information will be down below in the description box. If you guys want more of me, make sure you guys sign up for my Patreon or you sign up for my membership on YouTube. Both of those things are the same thing. So please do not sign up for both. Otherwise you're just spending unnecessary money. This man is delivering papers. <laughs> and until my next video, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Give me a, give me a, I, I, I wanna. Gotta work, go berserk, I, I, I gotta. Do you gon' wake up, wake up? Do you gotta get your cake up, cake up? Don't matter if it's four, five, six, seven, eight, it's my time.